White Glove Photo Printing. Museum quality, affordable prices. Howdy folks, Coach Crockett here, leader of the Hybrid Heroes. Man, oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man, we've had such trouble with audio, right? We've uh, done all those great programs with Robbie D, right, over on the photochannel.pro. You've got two now audio uh, programs, Hybrid 101 with Robbie D, there's Audio 1 on Audio 2. Great stuff, and during that process, I learned a lot myself. And the first thing I learned is, get rid of squeaky tables. Well, it usually squeaks. You'll hear me squeaking it a little bit later. Okay. <laughs> Two is, remember, I had a little bit of a problem that I used to only buy Sennheiser. Sennheiser is a premium brand of audio products, and they make terrific products, and nothing against the folks at Sennheiser. But I had a little problem with a repair, and it made me think twice. Right? Why am I spending so much money on Sennheiser? Because when I, when I thought audio, boom, Sennheiser. Just one of those automatic brand things, right? Well, then I got to realize that the Sennheisers that I'm using for my lavaliers, the body packs, those are six, seven, eight hundred dollars $800. Well, they're good, don't get me wrong, but are they really worth that kind of money? So what I decided was we would test some other brands, and guess what? I found out that there are some lower-cost brands that are not they are not as good as the Sennheiser EV series. They're not, they're not. But are they good enough for what most... The hybrid photographers are going to need a lavalier for? Heck yeah, they are, and a heck of a lot less money. And let me show you. Here's the one that wins for me. Now, I'm not sponsored by Audio Technica. I reached out to them to see if they had an educational program so that they could sell at a discount to my hybrid heroes. Not to me. Remember, a lot of times when I do a review, I either buy the product or somebody says, hey, would you review my product? And they send it to me. And then if I like the product, I ask them if I can buy it. And then I typically do, or they give it to me, which that's fine too. And if I don't like it, I send it back. In this case, I bought this just like everybody else did. This is $170 for the kit, the receiver. Now, the winner is the Audio Technica Pro 88W, and here's why. Here is the transmitter. Now, you've got a couple of choices that you've got to do, and then most dealers that sell this, they don't really understand all these choices. So, take it from your buddy Crockett here that you want to go with your matching frequencies, right? So when you buy these, you're going to buy them as a pair. There's going to be a transmitter, and a receiver. Notice the receiver's got the microphone on it, or sorry, got the antenna on it. It's a great antenna, comes off if you need it to, but it's a little rubber ducky. That means it's gonna be really tough to break, which is great. And look what else. It's got a sweet little hot shoe mount, sorry, cold shoey mount, that allows you to slide that on there, which is terrific. The switch is really simple. Look at that. You've got a frequency switch. You've got an AC power port. Then you've got your power on, power off. And on this, which is the transmitter, you've got the ability to have your mic out. And notice mic is spelled wrong. Isn't that hilarious, right? Japanese guy's trying to translate, right? And then your phone out, right? Okay, all right, here's how this works. Say you're using something like the Fuji X-E2. This doesn't have your regular eighth inch, right? Through three and a half millimeter audio port. You're gonna need the crazy adapter. Now my Panasonic guys, you don't have to worry about this. This is gonna plug right in, right? But for Fuji guys, you're gonna need the adapter. So this is the cord that comes with the transmitter. So you plug into the transmitter, right? Sorry. There we go. And you try to plug it into the camera, not going to go. All right, relax. Just open up the door. Buy this little adapter. This is a stereo adapter. It's a two and a half millimeter to three and a half millimeter. Now listen to me. Buy the one like this that's a cable because it's going to be stretchy and it's going to help you not break your camera. Don't buy the little baby ones that are all just hard and they plug right through there because it's going to end up breaking. Trust me on this, right? Plug this in here. Then, best, if you can, if you can tape this somehow to your camera, that would be terrific, right? Or go get a custom cable that's made to the exact length that you want to, right? Now you got your transmitter taken care of. Oh, sorry, your receiver taken care of. 
Transmitter, it's your body pack. This has a really nice clip. I like this clip lots better than the one that's on the Sennheiser. Now, you gotta choose which microphone you want when you buy this kit. There's an omnidirectional microphone that's round. It's got a little round head to it, or you can get the cardioid, the one that's more directional. Go with the cardioid if you're going to be doing like vlog posty stuff, right? You'll be able to clip this on and then it's a little more directional, meaning it gets rid of room noise. So what you want to do is you want to have this clipped on and you'll notice it's at a little angle, right? So you want that kind of pointed up at you. So there you go. That little bitty hole, you want that pointing at you best you can. A lot of people are taping it into their clothes or upwards like this. Look, you figure it out. Nice heavy cord, run it under your shirt. Look at this, plugs right in there. And on the side, you got two switches. Don't you love that? You got power and you got an LED that lights on that says you got all kinds of battery power. And then you got frequency A and B, right? All right, here's where it gets a little confusing. Not too crazy, but a little confusing. Let's say you want to buy more of them. These are going to be matched frequency-wise. Remember we talked about that number, right? See this number that's on the front of there? Yeah, that's what the dealer that you're going to buy this from is going to have a hard time with. When you want to buy a second pair of these, right? Say you want to have a conversation where you want to have one transmitter on one person and a second transmitter on a second person. And then you want to have a receiver on one camera and another receiver on another camera. So you can have a two-way conversation. Well, you got to make sure that the sets you have are different numbers. Now, for whatever reason, that number's not easily printed on the outside of the box. Basically, the dealer's going to have to open this box up and they're going to have to make sure it's not this number. All right. Now, that seems kind of screwed up to me. You'd think there'd be a better way. I've contacted Audio Technica four times now to see if there's a better way, and I can't get a response. Next, battery wise, they take standard 9 volt batteries, and they even work with rechargeables. So, life is great. The surface of these is wonderful because it's a matte surface, it doesn't get dinged up and scratched up much at all. Works great. Now, Specs. It does say that, of course, it's digitally frequency locked, which is terrific, right? You got an, an A and a B, which is if you happen to have two of these that are the same, or you get noise on one channel, you on frequency A, you flip over to frequency B if you need to. Terrific. But it does say that line of sight, it'll get you 300 feet. There's no way this is going to reach 300 feet and give you solid audio that isn't gonna go when you really need it, right? All right, 100 feet is about where you're gonna be. Can you count on 100 feet? Yeah. Can you go around a corner? Well, yeah. If you're gonna go around a corner, you wanna be inside that 75 foot range. So the distance between your receiver and your transmitter really needs to be less than 100 feet. And if you're indoors and you're gonna go around a corner, you need to be around 75 feet, okay? Other than that, what a great tool for an excellent price. I have not done any repairs on them, so I don't know about repair history, but my thought is if I bought the best, which is Sennheiser, and I had repair problems, and that's $700, this is only $170, I can afford to throw this away. <laughs> if I get a repair problem and go buy another one if I need to, which hopefully I never would have to do that. So, Audio Technica, nice job. If you have any other microphones that you are using that you're having terrific results with, send me a sample, will you? Best way to do it is to go through the Ask Will section of hybridphoto.pro or if you're a LinkedIn person, make sure you're joining our LinkedIn group. You see, it's growing, that thing's growing like crazy, right? Please be glad to get in touch with you. My staff and I always are available to help out, especially when we're talking about terrific products like Audio Technica's Lavalier Microphone 88 Pro. Coach Crockett here saying thanks for watching. Talk to you soon. Bye. White Glove. White Glove elevates your photo files to exhibition grade prints. Learn more at photoprinting.pro.